Hello, Honors Chemistry. This is the pre-lab for 32, Are All Acids Created Equal? I'm going to make a quick little video on just a reminder how to use burettes. Uh, that we have a setup here when you arrive in lab. You're going to see two burettes. They're going to be filled with an acid and a base. When we get closer, when we look at the burette clamp, you're going to see A and B. So as not to forget, acids on the left and bases on the right. You're going to have some phenolphthalein over here in a container, an Erlenmeyer flask, a piece of white paper so that you can see color change more easily. And before you go ahead and use the burettes, you want to make sure one, that they're filled and two, that the tips of them have acid or base in them. So it should have been let out. You shouldn't see any bubbles down here in the tip. When you go to use it, you want to make sure that the tip is low enough that you can get the mouth of the Erlenmeyer flask underneath the tip um, and that you might have to tip it to, to bring it out from underneath, but that makes sure that every drop that comes through this burette actually lands in the Erlenmeyer flask because of course you're going to be measuring volumes so you don't want to miss drops outside the flask. Okay, so before you're ready to start, we need to move up to the top of the burette and as you'll recall, these are calibrated with zero at the top and 50 down at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and put a piece of white paper behind this burette so that I can read it. And when I get it at eye level, to me, that reads about 1.5, nope, 1.65. I would say it's somewhere between the sixth and the seventh mark between one and two, 1 1.65. You might need to practice that between you and your partner. Read both the acid and the base and record those as your initial volumes. And then you can come down here and right now the stopcock is perpendicular to the burette. When I turn it so that it is parallel to the burette, that's gonna release some of the acid. And I'm gonna watch the top so that I empty just about 10 milliliters. There we go. And I turn it off. And now make sure that you add the phenolphthalein. If you don't add the phenolphthalein, of course, you're never going to have a color change. So go ahead and put a, a drop, only takes a drop or two, into your acid. And of course, that's going to be colorless because you have an acid. Then you're going to move over to the base side. And you're going to go ahead and you're going to start adding drops of base. And as you do that, the color is going to change. You might recall that base in the presence of phenolphthalein is pink. And you're going to want to get it to just the right palest of pink colors. So you might want to go slowly at first until you get the hang of it. And you're going to add enough so that this turns pink. Keeping the white paper behind will help see the color, help you see the color more clearly. And once you get that final um, pink color to stay, then you go up and you take a final reading on your burette. So you have an initial and a final reading for both your acid and your base, and that is a trial complete. I didn't do one here for you. I don't want to ruin the fun. You need to see what happens and come to lab and see it for yourself. And then you're going to dump this out. Of course, this will be a neutralized mixture in the flask. You dump it out in the sink, and then you can rinse it out with some distilled water. A couple rinses will do it, um, and then you can repeat. So dump, rinse, and repeat, and you're good to go. See you in lab.